Greetings and welcome. My name is Aaron Craig with Beyond Us Games, and in this part of Learning Game Maker Language from Scratch, we are going to be looking at functions, also known as methods. This is an extremely important part of using really any engine, as the functions that they provide to you allow you to do the game development in a quick and easy way. Uh, without the built-in functions that YoYo Games has provided, doing game development in Game Maker Studio would be virtually impossible for most people. Uh, it, it's the functions that they provide that allow easy access to doing really advanced things. So we're going to dive into the basics of them and how to use them and why you will want to make sure you know this part by heart. All right. So to break it down, there are four parts to a function. Okay. Uh, part one is really the uh, the name of the function. So the name of the function can be anything. Uh, you have actually been using one along with me. An example function is actually show message. So show message is a function and this right here is its name. Okay. Now let's ignore the red and let's move on because I'll come back to why we need to put something in there in just a second. The second part is the parameter, all right? So it's called the parameter, but really it's the data that you as the programmer are passing into the function so that it knows what to do and how to do it, okay? So an example parameter inside of show message here, you can actually see right down here in the red. You see show message and then inside the parentheses it says str. And that's short for string. And that wants you to pass in something to show. So if I pass in hello world, all of a sudden, now it's happy. Now the method, the function here, is going to function properly. It's going to display a message to us that has hello world inside of it. And that's awesome. Part three. This is uh, the data that we get back, okay? Uh, so sometimes we actually get data back that is returned to us. So an example would be uh, if we wanted to compute the area of a rectangle, right? That is length times width equals the area. So if we had a function that computed the area of a rectangle, we would pass it in the length and the width and then it would return to us the answer to that so it would look something like this uh, compute compute area and then like 10 5 and we would want to assign that data coming back to it like this so if this was a real function we would be saving the data of 10 times 5 into the variable my area here. Okay? Hopefully that makes sense. The last part is the chunk of code that actually runs when the function is called. So, pre written code. Now, we don't get to see the code that runs most of the time. Uh, this function here, show message, I don't know how it actually works, how it actually displays the message hello world on the screen in that dialog box. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. Uh, but the thing is that there's pre-written code that will show the box and will show some text in the middle of the screen. And the text that it shows is the parameter, is this data that we are passing into it. Okay, so we've been using functions this whole time because you really can't do much in Game Maker Studio without them, okay? You need them to do really anything of consequence. If you want to know if an enemy exists, you use a function. If you want to know how far something is away from the player, you use a function. If you want to draw a sprite, like a particle system on the screen, you would use a function. 
Anything that is going beyond the advanced things that we've talked about, you can probably find a function for. And if you come into help and go to the open manual, I've already got it open over here, there are a vast array of functions and all of them are well documented. Okay, Game Maker Studio has fantastic documentation. Part of it is you need to understand how to read it. So I'm gonna go through that really quickly. So you have the syntax here, which is what how the function is put together. And you can see here that it has a name and Game Maker Studio calls them arguments, which is also just another term for a parameter. So they have four arguments and it actually explains each one in here, this description. So we need to pass in a specific sprite. We need to pass in the sub image of the sprite and then an X and Y coordinate. And then here's the description, and they even have examples of how to do that. Okay, this manual is fantastic. And it's very easy to read compared to uh, like C++ or Java documentation, trust me on that. So a function will allow you to do so many things, and Game Maker Studio has great ones built into it, which is what makes it such a fantastic engine in the first place. If it didn't have good functions, it would not be worth using. Okay, Game Maker Studio has things built in so that you can detect a direction, that you can detect uh, if something is moving, get keyboard input, you can go online, you can fetch data, you can save files. They have so many built in that you can quickly get up a game and get it going. Now, the really awesome thing is that you can create your own. But that is going to be something we're going to look at next, and that is called scripts. Okay? Now, I'm going to have an exercise right after this one that is commonly used functions and how to use them and why they're important. I recommend you look at that uh, because knowing which ones are the most useful can be very helpful when you are just want to play around with them, learn how they're used, or you might even know how to use them in your own game because they're just really useful. I use them in my games and my tutorials all the time because they're very useful functions. Okay? That's what I've got for you. Functions are super important, okay? Uh, take that away, memorize it. Functions, methods, parameters, arguments, those are important words because when you're reading the documentation, they're gonna be in there. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments or on Twitter, I'd be glad to help you out. As always, have fun making great games and I will talk to you later. Hey there, uh, I've got a Patreon, if you didn't know. If you'd like to support me, that would be great. Up on the screen are the people who are pledging enough to get their name in the credits. They are helping fund this YouTube channel, which is awesome. I just want to give a shout out to them and all that they do to help me do this. It's great. If you would like to join, uh, you can click on the link at the end of the video or in the description below. Thank you.